Hi, this is Lindsay Brandt, class of 2003, and you are watching the R360 News. Good morning to everyone out there in Red Hawks Nation and welcome to the R360 uh, morning announcements. Yes, it's me. I'm your host, Mr. Weeb. Welcome to Monday, April 6th. It's day five on the school calendar and before spring break, we introduce you to two science experiments going around the nation. Let's take a look at the updates from Grayson's Colorful Lettuce and the Brant Boys Edible Sugar Crystals. Hi, Red Hawks News 360. Here's an update about my lettuce. This one is still wilting, but it's starting to turn a little more red. This one's doing awesome. It's turning blue. This one is dead, but it's purple. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye. So, we put our ships sticks in the sugar water and we waited three days and um, now we're going to see how they formed. Whoa, it's wow, it's very like And now we're going to see how they taste. Oh, I think this guy has a flu. These are the edible sugar crystals. So far... So, do you think it's a success? Yes, I would mm -hmm. say. Yeah, my point of view. Uh, Definitely. Well, wasn't that exciting? Mrs. Lopez and Mr. Hopper in the grades fives and sixes are really missing each other during this time of remote learning, but they are still finding ways to connect. The classes have been meeting online, including a video meet and greet before spring break. And at one point, there was uh, over 20 long lost friends getting reacquainted. Another way that the grade five sixes have been uh, reconnecting is through a unique online Wikipedia challenge. Let's take a look. All right, what's up, Red Hawks Nation? We are live with some of the grade fives from the grade five, six, a class, and we call this the Wikipedia game. So the goal of the Wikipedia game is to try your very best to get from one random page on Wikipedia to another random page on Wikipedia by only clicking on the blue links that are included in the page. So these guys are all loading in and it's getting a little jumbled as they start sharing their screens with us but they are trying their best to get from the International Space Station page to the Stanley Cup page. So we've got that typed out in the chat here. They're trying to get from International Space Station to Stanley Cup, and it's a race not only to be the fastest to get to the page, but also to click on the fewest links. So I'm gonna zoom in on Gavin's page, and we're gonna start in three, two, one, go. So we're looking at Gavin's screen, and Gavin got to Stanley Cup. Gavin, could you type in the chat how many clicks that took you? All right. See you around, Red Hawks. And now, another installment of Pet Profile from Red Hawks Nation. This is my dog, Molly. She's super cute. She's two years old. She already had babies, five of them, two of them, and... Here's the tricks she can do. Dance. Good mm. girl. And speak. 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 Speak, Molly. Good girl. This is name dropping the game where red hawk staff and students try to outdo each other with who has the most remarkable friends and family members but this is hard because the only trolley i've ever been on is james franco's ironic trolley it travels backwards from his penguin grotto to his garage of adult tricycles there are plenty of other people i could help like my good friend ben affleck and his crippling addiction to back tattoos or my other good friend matt damon and his crippling addiction to my friend ben affleck 
Good morning, R360. I'm James Platt, and this is Name Dropping. Hi, Rosenard School. I'm comedian Matt Falk. I'm happy to be here, a part of your name dropping segment. All right, I've got to work with a guy named Dave Coulier. You ever heard of him? Of course you have. He's on the show Fuller House on Netflix. Have you seen that show? Yeah, it's a great show. He plays Joey on Fuller House. Remember him? Cut it out. Come on, quit it. He's really funny on the show. He's really funny in real life. And he's a really nice person. Those things don't always happen together. But with Dave Coulier, they do. I am a friend of the town of Rosenort and James Platt. Thanks for having me on. Bye, everybody. Pretty impressive. And speaking of name dropping, how's this for a name drop? Over the spring break, Rosenort School students Seth and Ethan Lowen met Winnipeg Jets forward Blake Wheeler in Winnipeg. The captain was happy to pose for a few social distancing selfies with Seth and Ethan and their parents. We have a, a plethora of uh, birthdays wishes to uh, catch up over the uh, spring break and here they are. Happy birthday to going out with Levi Deacon on April 1st, Eliza Friesen on the 2nd, Aubrey Thiessen on April 3rd, Tina Neufeld on the 4th, Eva Wheeler on the 5th, and finally, to Tristan Manning for today. Uh, that's the news we have for you this morning. Uh, we make sure to tune in tomorrow live at 10 a.m. and uh, for a brand new science experiment, another pet profile, and our next blast from the past, not me, and more. For Mr. K and Mr. Weeb in the R360 newsroom, have a great day in remote learning and see you soon.